Hi, I'm going to continue this while I can, while the battery's still working. Yeah. And uh, hopefully I'll finish it up tonight. Okay. I'm going to be concentrating more with this camera because I feel this video is going to be removed. Because while Blamer said, while blaming a disgusting video, right, it's disgusting, it was based on the Hadith, Islamic sources. But he, yeah. When he was at the UN blaming that video for Benghazi, he said, There must be no future for those that signed to the puppet of Islam. So, uh, expect this video to be pulled off, whereas this will be stale in my, uh, in my possession. Okay. Preserved tablet, which is with Allah. On that preserved tablet is Allah called Allah or Al Illa. For before Allah became Allah, it was Al Illa for the God, but became shortened to Allah. So on that tablet for the God, is it Al Illa or Allah? Which is it on that eternal preserved tablet in heaven, O slave of the best deceivers? However, what can be distorted is whatever is dis dictated from the preserved tablet into copy on earth. And who can distort it is it is only men who have strayed. And according to Aisha, a goat that is hungry. Or do you not believe that part of the Hadith? And that part of the Hadith uh, go to eat away the part about uh, the part of the Quran that uh, allowed uh, men to suckle women's breasts to fight off temptation. And Aisha said a goat ate it. I don't think a goat ate it. I think she just destroyed that part of the Quran. It's it blamed on a goat. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, who have lost his faith and have come to love the world more than the essence of our purpose in being here. Those are the ones that distorted the, distorted the, the Quran, supposedly. Sure, it's not because uh, we know that embryos are never blood clots. I'm going to go back here. And the current, uh, he said this. However, what can be distorted is whatever is dictated from the, pres the preserved tablet into copy on earth. And who can distort it is only men who have strayed and who have lost his faith and have come to love the world more than, more than the essence of our purpose of being here. Sure, it's not because we know that embryos are never blood clots, that the sun never truly sets to make it ask to rise again, nor for the fact that the earth is not on the back of a giant fish like Muhammad believed, a giant fish called Nun. Yeah. And God only allowed it to happen as a test. Why test if all is all-knowing? Moses had predicted the corruption of God's words that would happen after his death. But for I know that after my death you are sure to become utterly corrupt and to turn away from what I have commanded you. Deuteronomy 31, 25 to 29. How does that mean the Bible is to become corrupted? Think, O slave of the best deceivers, think. The book of Jeremiah, which came approximately 826 years after, did indeed confirm this corruption. Quote, how can you say we are wise? And the law of the Lord is with us. Be but behold, the false pen of the scribes has made it into a lie. Jeremiah 8.8 8. You mean like the Quran has made a lie about Jesus going to the cross and making sense of all those about, yeah, about Jesus going to the cross and making sense of all those sin offerings and blood atonement described in the Torah, all this book given to Musa? How do you not know Jeremiah 8.8 8. Um, no, how do you not know that Jeremiah 8 8 is a warning? You know, telling, um, yeah, how do you not know uh, this is an attack on those who claim the Bible is a fault, is, is a lie? Besides, Jeremiah 8 9 infers that the Bible is not corrupted. I noticed that you didn't go to the very next verse. How come? Conclusion So, where is the angel? Because of Quran 3 verse 55 in Quran 61 14 that Jesus and his followers will be will prevail and be uppermost until the day of resurrection and because of Quran 3 3 that proves that the angel was in the time of Muhammad well I ask I ask Muslims that question all the time the angel only come alive again today when Christians both preach and 
preach the message of Yeshua and live out God's love toward, towards all mankind. But that goes contrary to the Quran, where you have Allah threatening all mankind with eternal burning if they don't go forth killing and being killed in the cause of Allah. That's Quran 9, 11, 38 and 39. Yeshua taught about love. How do you know if the angel of Muhammad's time no longer exists? Yeah. How do you know? Uh, he taught about loving enemies and turning the other cheek, etc. However, Christians, for much of history, have a particularly, uh, particularly poor track record of loving Muslims because they don't want to be forced to pay a high tax under the threat of death if they don't bow down five times a day to a black stone that was once stolen and peed on by Abu Tyre the Carmatians before returning it in pieces back to Mecca? Could this failure to live out the angel be the reason why Muslims have not yet been able to recognize the fading angel in the Bible? Fading since the time of Muhammad, right? For again, Quran 3, 3 says... The angel is between his, Muhammad's, hands, meaning that the only time the New Testament is the angel is when Muslims try to say the, quote, comforter, unquote, spoke of Jesus in the New Testament, uh, be, uh, being Muhammad. I kid you not, I'll read that again. Yeah, meaning that the only time the New Testament is the angel is when Muslims try to say that the comforter spoken of Jesus in the New Testament is Muhammad. I, I kid you not. I find it interesting that Allah SWT has indeed preserved and protected parts of Torah and Angel that are relevant and which coincides with the Quran. Which parts? Remember, we aren't talking about the angel between Muhammad. Remember, we aren't talking about the angel between Muhammad's hands because the New Testament of Jesus' time matches in meaning with the New Testament of Muhammad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, excuse me, excuse me. Which parts? Remember, we aren't talking about the angel between Muhammad's hands because the New Testament of Jesus' time matches in meaning with the, New Te with the New Testament centuries before Muhammad. So, what it comes down to is that the angel between Muhammad's fingers his hands, his hands only existed in a small number of Christians in the time of Muhammad, in the time of Muhammad, and since it's nowhere to be found now, then the Quran is false with Quran 3 verse 55 and Quran 65 verse 14 about Jesus and his followers prevailing and being uppermost until the day of resurrection. For that Injil is nowhere to be found now, and this is not the day of resurrection. It's not the day of resurrection. And the day of resurrection, so as far as I can tell, hasn't even come yet. People of the book might say that the prophet Papa copied these messages from the previous books. If so, then he did a very crappy job, if you ask me. Well, you can say not copied but confirmed false for the angel says Jesus went 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 to the cross making sense of all those sin offerings and blood atonement described in the Torah all this book given to Musa and the Quran says Jesus was only made and the Quran says Jesus was only made to appear to do that when Allah secretly took the cowardly Quran Jesus up into heaven the cowardly Muslim Jesus up, Jesus up into heaven there's no confirmation between the angel now with the Quran at all Again, making a lie, making a lie of Quran 3, verse 55, and Quran 60, 61, verse 14. How is it then that errors from the Bible are not copied into the Quran? What? How is it then that errors from the Bible are not copied into the Quran? How is it that you can obey Quran 10? verse 94, and come to me for my reading the Bible, not reciting, but reading, my reading of the Bible, the before scriptures, if only the Quran is not corrupted. Think, O slave of the best deceivers. Think. As far as we can tell, the angel is not with us now. That is for, that is so true. Making many of the scriptures in the Quran sound like lies. 
about it confirming the before scriptures, which you find in Quran 3 3, were not corrupted in the time of Muhammad. Thus, totally ignore, thus, totally ignore the reality of the Dead Sea Scrolls, which show no change in meaning with the Old Testament of the Dead Sea Scrolls, with the Old Testament of the Holy Bible we have today. Totally ignore that fact. Discoveries of ancient manuscripts do testify to the changes in the text and expose the truth. Not from what I've heard. And if you are right about the angel, when it was fine in the time of Muhammad with Surah 3, 3 then don't tell me that the comforter Jesus is talking about to not be the Holy Spirit and, 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 and then say it's Muhammad. For it means that the New Testament is not the angel at all and that the Injil only existed as a few copies with a few Arab, Arab, Arabian Christians only in the time of Muhammad. The same with the Torah and the Psalms. Both realities, if true, are absurd. They're absurd. No. New discoveries may continue to reveal more of the truth. And I look forward to it. Some discoveries are even hidden from the public because heads will roll. So, who knows what is really out there? Dead Sea Scrolls, Bodmer Papyrus. Personally, I feel truth will prevail. So gradually, truth will be known. Not if the Muslims of ISIS get their way. They'd probably burn a first century version of the New Testament if they found it. If it was the kind of New Testament we have in our Bibles, they would burn it. How many minutes do I have left? Oh, I gotta stop it here.